When I dance on that demon time, she might start her only fans. So look, I gotta tell y'all something. I went to Express and I spent almost eight hundred dollars. I don't know. I walked in and saw that it looked like spring up in there, and over here where I'm at in the Great Pacific Northwest, it was it's freezing. It's warming up a little bit since I bought these clothes. So I bought these clothes maybe two to three weeks ago, but um. It's warming up a tiny bit, but it's still cold as fuck and I'm just ready. I'm already ready. As soon as November, as soon as December gets over, like it's like, when is it gonna be spring? Immediately. Let me know if you're like that down in the comments. But anyways, so in today's haul, we got some cute stuff. Um, I paired a lot of stuff with tennis shoes because I hear a lot of people talking about how they don't know how to wear tennis shoes. And, I, and when they say that, I'm like, how sway? I wear tennis shoes nonstop because they're the most comfortable to me. You know, we have those people out there that some of they love wearing heels and it's like, okay, enjoy that. I'll be over here in my tennis shoes. Let's get into the looks. Say so there's some outfits, some pieces. Eh, yeah, let's say there's some outfits. This first look that I have or outfit is a suit. If y'all didn't know, Express has bomb ass suits, blazers and pants. And if you're a thickety thick thick like me, <laughs> they fit really good. Like you will be surprised how their dress pants fit because they look like normal slacks. However, the way that Express makes them, they're actually stretchy, super stretchy, not super like stretch pants, but way more stretchy than you would think a pair of slacks would be or a blazer would be. You would think a blazer is stiff, which most of them are because they don't have fabric that has give. However, all of these express pieces have some type of given. And if you didn't know about their suits, like the, I want to call it the editor collection. I don't know about the other collections, but definitely the editor collection, bomb. Yes, it's hella expensive, but it's bomb. <laughs> it's worth all your pennies because express stuff lasts forever, if you didn't know. And if you don't want to spend the money, when they have their sales, be up in those racks because that stuff be like 70% off regular price. And it's going on right now, by the way, if you didn't know. So, um, yeah, anyways, this blue suit, bomb color, super bomb color, obsessed, almost, I don't think I'm up there with the green as I'm obsessed with this, but I'm obsessed. Anyways, so yeah, in this outfit, <laughs> I just have on like a crop knitted, it's like a sweater material, give or take, but it's not, I don't know what you call it. What is it? It's a knit, it has to be a knit. So it's a knit, <laughs> it's a knit crop tank that I also got from Express on their clearance rack for $5. Well, I got it for $5 because I had like three $5 coupons inside of my account. So yeah, when you spend money there, they give you points or whatever, just like how Nordstrom does. So uh, you can use those on purchases. I used $15 worth and then I ended up paying $5. So yeah, the crop I got from the clearance rack, the blue suit, the blazer was regular price and the pants were regular price. The pants I got in size 14 and the blazer I wanna say is in size 12. If not, I will correct myself on the screen. Like I said, the stretch is good. So if you have broad shoulders as I do, it doesn't feel like you can't move your arms and things like that even because you know sometimes you'll get a jacket a suit jacket and it feels like you can't rotate your arms right or you can't lift your arm right because it's just not fitting right but anyways yeah so they're stretched so your back is not just tight into there they're stretched the um pants are high rise so they go up to like my belly button maybe a little bit past there there's a little drop in the back but it's not significant and i don't need a belt with those pants um, the shoes i have on i've had forever the black booties are from aldo but i got them at nordstrom rack on clearance years ago and they're probably like my favorite booties because they're super comfortable that construction of that shoe was like perfect because those are heels that will make me say, yeah, I love wearing heels. But outside of that, if they don't have a platform, I don't, most of the time I don't love wearing them. And the fact that I might twist my ankle is another thing. Like, I like wearing heels, but I don't love wearing heels. So anyways, moving, moving right along. I went ahead and took those heels off to show y'all that new swag that's going on, even though it's not new, because I was doing that in the 90s, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about 
what's trending. So, you know, the tennis shoes with the slacks is like a new thing since probably last year, maybe it's to new people. I mean, to people who don't know about it, it's new, but it's not new for me, like I said. Um, so I went ahead and put my Converse on there, the Run High. I don't know, they're one of the Run High um, <laughs> Converse. Uh, I don't know the specific name of that one because I have more than one, like the white ones you'll see in the video. So yeah, I wore those super comfortable rate the outfit below actually at the end put down your favorite outfit or if i helped you let me know how i helped you also oh did i tell you guys my name for people who are new here my name is elente and if you don't know now you know okay now that we got that out of the way let's move on to this next outfit so next i seen this yellow girl another color that i'm obsessed with is this like gold yellow that this um, suit jacket is in. What do you call these? They're not suit jackets. I don't like saying that. They're blazers. There it is. So the blazer, uh, this yellow blazer is, um, it gives you like a chiffon feeling, if I'm saying that right. I wanna say that's what I'm thinking of. It gives you that type of feeling. It's more lightweight than the blue. Is it more lightweight? It feels like it would be cooler than wearing the blue. I'm not, it's not necessarily less heavy. So lightweight might not be the right words. But anyways, it uh, seems like it's more springtime, summertime worthy than the blue. Of course, if you have to go to work, the blue is great because you're going to be freezing in a building. But outside of that, the yellow one is bomb. I paired it with some jeans that I already had. I got them from H&M. I did a haul a while ago with those jeans that I still haven't worn because I still haven't got the waist taken in. The yellow jacket, I wanted to like button it in a way that it looks like a V right here without um, a shirt underneath. However, the button is too low for me. So I would need like a some tape to make the V a little bit higher so that my boobs won't just fall out or it looks like I'm naked. I wanted it to kind of look like a shirt situation, but it didn't. So I put on a bralette that I had. Um, it's like a crochet one, but I think a lace bralette would look way better than the one that I had on. I also paired this with two different types of tennis shoes, some Nike Air Maxes. Those Air Maxes I've had for a few years, as you can see that yellow has been out. And then uh, when I seen, I was like, ooh, yeah, let me try it with this one. Um, and then of course I did it with my Converse because they go with everything. Those Converse run high are super comfortable. Yeah, so I used those two to show you how to wear the tennis shoes. Let's move on to the next outfit. The next outfit is the white shirt, the white polo. I liked this polo because I always get like, you know, the regular ass polo that you wear for uniforms in school. <laughs> like when I wear that, I feel sloppy in it. I don't know. It doesn't feel, even though it's a business casual type of outfit or shirt, it doesn't feel business casual and it doesn't, I don't know. I don't like how they look on me. So when I saw this one with the little puff sleeves, I was like, this is going to be hella cute if you need to go to work and you don't want to wear a fucking button up and be... <laughs> I'm sorry, me in like office attire, I don't understand the reason for it. If I feel like I want to dress up today, then I want to dress up. If I feel like I want to wear jeans and a t-shirt, I want to wear jeans and a t-shirt. As long as I look clean and presentable, I don't see the issue. But anyways, back to what I'm talking about with this polo. The polo is, uh, it has the little puffy sleeves and you know, the polo collar. Um, it's short, so it's cropped. So you would want to wear it with high, high waisted, um, slacks if you wore it to work. And then, you know, if you want to chill and be comfortable, that's another reason why you can, it's very versatile. You can wear it to work or you can wear it hanging out because it goes with jeans as well. Get me? I wore it with my run highs and my Jordan ones. I probably would wear, personally, I probably would wear my run highs over my Jordan ones, how I paired it. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, so the shirt is comfortable, cute. I got it in size large. Girl, let's go back to that yellow jacket. What did I get that in? Did I get that in size 12? Oh, I forgot. So on the yellow blazer, it has a scrunchy thing on the inside that makes you uh, cinch your waist. And that's another thing. All of the blazers at Express has that cut to make you have that hourglass shape so you don't have to get it tailored unless you want it a boy cut. I think they, do they have boy? Even with their boy cut ones, be their uh, waist comes in. So yeah, the blazers are bomb at Express, worth your money, even though they're hella expensive. <laughs> so when you see them on the clearance rack, get them. I still have one from like over 10 years ago and it looks brand new that I bought from the clearance rack at Express. So yeah, there you go. Go to Express when they're having a clearance. 
or just go to Express to see what they have in general and to see what your sizing is. Cause Express is a little giving when it comes to sizes. Like sometimes I can get a medium in shirts, even though I haven't wore a medium in years. And I know that because when I wore mediums, I used to get small fitters. So there you go. Um, moving right along. So yeah, the white shirt is in size large. The yellow blazer is in large or extra large. Oh, and then what, what I wore with the white shirt is the jeans are from Abercrombie. Is that not? Fuck no, it's not Abercrombie. It's A&E, American Eagle. The jeans are from American Eagle. And then the shoes I got from Nordstrom. And then the Jordans I got from, I want to say Foot Locker. I don't remember. I bought them over almost probably a year ago. Anyways, so those are the outfits. And then the final outfit, you already know my favorite shit, a jumpsuit. This is the main thing that made me want to go in the store because I saw it online. I'm like, can I fit that? So I grabbed it in size 14. It's kind of tight in the bottom half because it's like a sturdy jean type of jumpsuit. It's not super stretchy. There's a tiny bit of stretch in there. But uh, that's how, if it didn't have that tiny bit of stretch, I wouldn't be able to pull it up at all. So that's what I'm letting you know. So I got the jumpsuit in size 14. I need a 16 because of the jeans are those sturdy type jeans, denim. It has the little puffy sleeves on it. I just thought it was super cute when I saw it on the model. So I had to go in the store and see it myself. And of course get it for myself because I can't control myself. Anyways, uh, I paired it with some um, mules, purple mules. They're super comfortable. I got them from Steve Madden. Did I buy them on Steve Madden though? No, I got them from Nordstrom. I paired it with these purple mules. I don't feel like they're my favorite look with the jumpsuit. You let me know down below how you feel about the mules with the jumpsuit. I think I would wanna wear um, an open toe type sandal if I wore a heel with actual straps around the ankle. I felt like it needed that, but I could be wrong. But so yeah, I would have wore them probably if I was going out somewhere, I would probably put on a heel that has a ankle strap instead of just the mules but i felt like it was cute still i put my little coach purse on it's the pillow tabby not the 26 the one that's underneath that the small one like literally my cell phone fits perfectly in one side of the purse and then my cards fit perfectly in the other side of the purse barely any room for anything else I, uh, so a lip gloss and some keys and that's it that you can fit in that purse but that's perfect for me because usually i wear a lanyard to carry around my ids and stuff all day like my lanyard from basic training. When I say I carry that around all the time because I'm not a purse person. I do wear purses when I go places and things like that to keep my hands free and to keep my outfit looking uh, like an outfit and not like I'm going to work or whatever. But <laughs> that's what I do. And then I put on my all white run highs because they go with everything. But I think I would prefer a low top shoe, tennis shoe over the high top um, Converse that I put on with it. But outside of that, cute everything from express i got i feel like it was cute i have no controversies however i think i'm gonna take the jumpsuit back because who knows when my thighs are gonna go down enough for it to fit in the lower body more comfortably and i don't like the pockets gaping like that because they're too tight on the bottom so i might be taking that one back however yeah i think that's it for me this i haven't done a video in so long i felt like i was confused on what I was doing. I don't know. <laughs> I literally have not done a video since October last year. Like I sit down. Yeah, it's crazy. I love recording videos. However, my life is my life and I don't always have time to record videos. I can make time like all these people say, but I want to sleep too. I'm obsessed with sleeping. So, <laughs> and now that both kids pretty much sleep all night, I'm trying to get that sleep in. But Anyways, uh, that concludes the video. Did I miss anything? Oh, I forgot about all the earrings. So I, all the earrings I wore in the video um, are also from Express. They were on a sale, like buy one, get one 50% off. And then a few of them were clearance. I, uh, one of them, or maybe two, something was clearance with an extra 30% off on top of the clearance price as well. And they don't give me that itchy type of feeling, but these are not earrings I'm going to wear all the time. They're just for occasional wear because they're not real earrings they're not gold yeah so yeah now that it concludes this concludes the video um leave all your questions comments concerns in the comment box let's talk any other videos you want to see from me let me know down in the comments and until next time I dance.
on that demon time, she might start her only fans. Big B and that B stand for bands. If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop a load of swine.